Hey guys, just wanted to uh, kind of explain, not really explain, just kind of give a tip. Um, when you're putting larger throttle bodies on and uh, trying to port to uh, match a larger throttle body, uh, this is how I do it. I use the straight edge. And as I work, you see this normally had a big lip. But as I work, let's see if I can get that clear. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. Because uh, if you ever watch any of my other videos, you remember I was talking about most people when they poured in a little bit and it tapers in back to the factory. Um, Casting now on areas like the roof where it has a hardcore lean in obviously you can't Take a ton of material out, but as you can see it's a lot, but I've done what I can to make the transition smooth through here But this is almost perfectly straight All the way in 90 millimeters. It's gonna be the same on the floor and the suds the same already um, Right now I'm using the rough cut Eight flute it's kind of big and then um, I'll switch to the other one I've showed you guys before so I can find it that guy and that'll get all the little lumps and bumps of the rough cut out and make it perfectly smooth I caught this one earlier I don't know if you can see that Kind of ate it up, broke it pretty good. Um, caught it in the corner of the manifold. <laughs> I actually flung the manifold from the bench, or off the off of this over there. It was actually that manifold. I got a bunch of these I have to do, but you see this one's already roughed quite a bit. I still got a smooth cut, but I had caught it in this corner right, right here. I had got the angle too high and touched the grinder here and the bit dug in and kind of locked in and twisted the whole manifold off and threw it. Definitely woke me up. Um, that thing's 14,000 RPMs and it, uh, I think it's 11 amps and it weighs about 12 pounds. So, um, it's definitely got some power behind it and it, uh, broke that carbide and bent the shaft pretty easily. So, killed a $50 cutter and four minutes of working so that's how I do got it got to damage some stuff every once in a while so well anyway back to what I was saying if you're gonna port match one of these openings try and uh, get something like this and make it straight if you can't straighten it and it's like a little short taper then what, what's the point of uh, putting a bigger throttle body on it's kind of kind of worthless if you can't open I'd say at least, I mean, this, the only part I can't open up is the roof. Everything else can be full 90 would so it's really not a waste. But um, on some of the other stuff, I'd definitely call it a waste. And some people bolt them on without even uh, doing, but they just do a little angle here. And I'm just like, what the fuck is that? So if you're going to do it, do it right. Or send it to me and I'll do it. <laughs> so... Don't matter what it is, have done everything. I mean, we've got Lamborghini, Ferrari, Lotus, all American stuff, Honda, Toyota. I mean, we've got everything. So, just because I post a lot of videos up of Hemi's, and that's mainly it so far, but we, we do everything. Um, it's just I, I do more Hemi's than anything else. It's kind of like my thing. So, I don't really like doing too much of the high end stuff. I mean, plus, people really don't pay to. Uh, do port work and stuff like that on the Ferraris and Lamros as much. It's very rare. But when we do get it, it's uh, very, very nice. I'll just put it that way. I love I love uh, Lamborghini owners. They have really, really deep pockets. So, it's really awesome. So, And also, the good thing about having a light is uh, it really helps you see where your imperfections are. You can see as I change the light, like, that looks huge right there. And it's really not... It's so small. <laughs>
but um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate this. I don't care if you hated it or loved it or not. Give me a thumbs down. Um, it might make me cry, but it's all good. I just like to know know how I'm doing. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see, what you want to know. I'll give you all the information I can without giving away secrets. Put it that way. I, c I can't give you everything because that'd be dumb. I kind of got to secure my job somehow. But I do plan on making a how-to video for the Honda guys because um, we really don't do any Honda stuff anymore. People really don't want to pay $1,000, $1,200 for port polish and a valve job on a four-cylinder head when, you know, the the cars themselves don't cost that much. And for all you guys that are like, oh, he's hating on Hondas. No, I've had 12 myself. I've worked on every kind of <laughs> Honda mode there is. I got KH, D, and B heads here. So let me know what you guys want to know how to port. They're all pretty similar. I'm probably going to use the... Uh, probably going to use the K head because it's a little bigger and it'll be easier to show throughout the video what and what not to touch and stuff like that but that'll be coming soon when I get caught up here I'll go ahead and uh, take a day and make that video and edit it and actually get more in depth um, try and give some tips um, most of the other how-to videos are really kind of gay and suck and uh, only tell you to polish and casting lines and shit like that and I'm sorry, but that's a waste of fucking time. So, anyway, um, again, subscribe, and uh, that's that.